Welcome to the Life Survival Show, where we talk about everything from survival to business, nature to nut cases. It's not a kid-friendly show. We do drink some beers from time to time. We uh, have foul language occasionally. That that happens. Uh, we're all adults here, so put the little ones to bed. Make sure you got a beer or a cocktail, whatever you're doing. Kick back in bed, as we've seen recently. A couple people posted pictures <laughs> where they're like. Maxed and relaxed, like all hanging out in the bed on the with the with the plasma screen up and stuff. You that, know? Was awesome. that was awesome. That was that was awesome. Like man. we should make that like a, a custom <laughs> thumbnail, I guess, for the show or something. Yes. That's pretty cool. But it is not a a kid friendly show. Um, sometimes we get into some deep conversations, I guess, to some extent. Adult um, conversations. Adult. Yeah, adult. There we go. Yeah, not so much adult. deep, but adult, adult, adult type stuff. Um, we uh, are the Life Survival Show, and a big part of what we do is we try to connect people with nature. Um, and we reach out on social media and uh, publicly. I speak from time to time. Uh, we work on different projects uh, in our community, around the state, stuff like that. And we're always looking to get people outside. Uh, camping, hiking, canoeing. We have river gatherings. We, you know, DJ Cisco here is like spinning some funky music out in the middle of the woods and stuff. It's, it's really cool stuff. We always have, have, have little events like that going on from time to time. I mentioned DJ Cisco. This is our producer of the show. Uh, he's the Hola. one that makes all the magic happen. Uh, the, the beautiful green screen, um, just the, the layout, everything. On, everything that happens as far as you actually seeing this show is because of this man right here, DJ Cisco. And that's why I spam the page tonight. Yeah, he's, hey. he's, he's, this is prime real estate right here, okay? And, uh, this so, could be yeah. yours for $100 a week, baby. <laughs> so, and this is my lovely wife, Audrey, um, who just recently graduated. Yes. Um, I think it was Tuesday night. Tuesday night was Tuesday. her final, final. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so awesome. That's really cool. I'm done. That's really cool. I'm officially uh, environmental science major. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We are super, super, super proud. Um, Silas and I are giving our hand, uh, high fives left and right. Um, but uh, some of the things that we um, so so oh, uh, on our show we don't get into politics. Uh, talking about money and finance and stuff like that. Sometimes maybe like a survival lesson that can also teach you personal finance or something business along those yeah business you business know stuff finance. that's like relative not like the opinionated perspectives and all that kind of stuff we don't get into all that kind of that's what the rest of facebook is for uh we don't talk about religion and we don't talk about sex bullshit yes so we do get <laughs> we do get into that from time to time you know nature is nature you know um do it like they do on the discovery channel or whatever yeah. speaking of discovery <laughs> channel um as of, you know, 10 minutes ago, you could have seen me blurred out, of course, but naked on Discovery Channel's Naked and Afraid. I hope you guys tuned in. If you haven't watched it, you should. It's good stuff. There's incredible stuff coming up in the next season. I uh, can't say anything, but I got a lot of friends that have been out there doing what they do. And, and, and of course, Renegade 83 and Discovery Channel are making their magic happen as well uh, to bring that kind of quality entertainment to your living room every night. Um, but no, I was, but they just ran my episode actually uh, this, this past hour. A uh, big shout out to good friends of ours, Robin K. Taylor and Dave Ferris for giving me a heads up and letting me know <laughs> that uh, you should tag them actually. I will. And um, <laughs> let them know, I, you know, they, they, Dave puts this thing together when there's reruns and he tags okay. all of us in it. And he's like, these episodes are playing at this time, this time. He's got like a description of it, the time it's playing. Awesome. Like it's really cool. Awesome. Really cool. Yeah. Um, so those are the things that we don't get into. 
uh, here on the Life Survival Show. Um, what we do talk about is, is a lot of really cool stuff, actually. Um, we cover outdoor videos. Um, sometimes we talk about different survival techniques, um, maybe different gear from time to time. Yeah. We do the giveaways with the gear. Um, and we, we talk about other people in the survival world, and we try to bring them into this kind of stuff. A lot of people are gaining an interest, you know, mm -hmm. for survival and bushcraft. Mm -hmm. And it's it's one of those, you know, we're always looking to connect people with nature. So it's it's one of those avenues. And right now it's hugely powerful. And I know that because of the Naked and Afraid thing. Before that, I consulted on a BBC survival project. Um, and then since then, I've, I've guided an animal planet production crew downriver. Um, so yeah, we, we, we get into all the different people and all that kind of stuff when it comes to connecting people with, uh, with outdoors. Uh, one we thing get, we get into one of my favorite spots, one of my new favorite ladies too, Maggie J with the dumb criminal. Yes, ritual. yes, yes, exactly. The we fun. cover. Yes, that's that's one of the highlights. The we fun. noticed we noticed a lot of people like really dig that. You can see like the views go up, and she's a trip, man. She she as we always we always give Maggie um, uh, mad props. You know yes. she she's got to put some time in to find these stories, um, and she's always plugging like if you find cool stories out there too from you know wherever but florida's dumb criminals that may be in like your local paper or whatever let me know about it let maggie know about it um and if you haven't subscribed you should um so that's that's one of the things and we'll get to that in a little bit but that's that's one of the things that we cover every week um we cover florida dumb news uh we talk about our technology yes and the way we've like improved and and um different things that we're working on with the show like for instance uh this week we're doing something we've never done before. If you go back and you watch the very first pilot episode I posted on my YouTube channel, just search for Philical File, P-H-I-L-L-I-C-L-E-F-I-L-E, -L -L -E -L -E, the same as I am pretty much everywhere online. Um, you'll see that original episode and you'll see us like in like just our camp chairs or whatever hanging out. The green screen didn't quite work right. Like there were glitches, no transitions. We weren't able to run video. Yeah, I think we I rolled like an hour and 45 minutes straight or something. Of just talking. Yeah, just, just talking. hanging out and talking, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, yeah. So we, we, we talk about our technology and how we're trying to improve it. Um, sometimes it's software. If you noticed on the intro, if you didn't, after this is all over with, go back and watch that again because you'll see Powered by the Mac Doctor, a good friend of ours, Steve. Um, he's the one that built the machines that enable all of this and allow this to happen. Um, so we talk about that. We talk about, uh, let's see, technology. We talk about branding and business branding, and business. stuff like that. Um, we talk a little about social media. Yeah. Um, what's our thing for tonight? What are we up in there? Oh, we're, we're on multiple oh, platforms. We we're are, on multiple platforms right we now. We are going that's, deep into technology that's right now. That's what it now. is. That's what it is. <laughs> I, it was slipping for a minute. I did that last week too. I was sitting there going, what is it? What is that? And I'm, I'm trying to keep going and I was getting kind of hung up. But um, so tell us about that. Tell us. We are going, taking this to a new level. I mean, thanks to all of you guys. Yes. And the support. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, we have now gone a lot farther than what we I think we ever thought okay. we were going to go well, at now, the beginning. Two, yeah. two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we went back and we were looking at the analytics just to give some like background mm -hmm. context there. I started looking at it like I was, you know, we had people shout out a couple times like, uh, you know, yo, what's up from Tanzania or yeah, down here in New Zealand. I'm like, holy cow, dude, that's awesome. Yes. I looked at the list. There was over 30 countries that we hit that we're broadcasting to. That just blew yeah. my mind. This week, I didn't mean to cut you oh, off, no, but I wanted to like bring them up good. to speed. Yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely. This week we got <laughs> this thing going on. We got we are going on four major platforms tonight. Right now we are live on Facebook Live, which uh, some of you are watching on. We are also going on Twitch, which is a gamer channel, yep. um, which is a really really popular area to go on. Yep. If you're watching on there, what's up, gamers? Thank you. you know? YouTube, we are live on YouTube yep. right now. Yep. yep. And a big one that not too many people have figured out. Yep. We are live on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Right We're now. kicking it on Instagram right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's, nobody's doing, okay, people are going, let, let me clarify. People are going live on Instagram, but they're not going live on Instagram with a green screen behind yes. them. If they are, it's like Fox or CNN or NBC, mm. CBS, ABC, something like that, where they've got this multi-million dollar production budget. And that is not the case here, obviously. Um, but we found a way uh, to kind of hack life, to, to, to hack the system a little bit. You know, not, not hacker really, but find, you, you find, in life you find a workaround. You find a solution to the problem. You don't give up. 
you don't throw in the towel, you find a way to make it work. And we really wanted to go uh, stream on Instagram because we saw that nobody's doing that. We had to find a way to make that work. Uh, we'll give that secret up, but not right now. Um, talking, when we talk about the ingenuity, um, so I got a buddy of mine, Zach Fowler, and we've had his videos on here before, okay? Yeah, that, yeah, that's Zach. That's Zach's. That's, that's Zach's thing right there. Yes, yeah. she'll be posting links uh, for all of his stuff. If you're going to order from him, by the way, order by the 18th, uh, and I think you get a little bit of a discount, but you'll at least get it before Christmas. Um, so Zach is like genius level level creative. You yes. know, uh, he was on on the show uh, alone for 87 days in Patagonia and won that shit. Yes, sir. But he made some incredible things, absolutely incredible, with, with just a handful of resources. Um, he made this thing called the Duck Hunter. And so originally, I think he was trying to hunt ducks or um, we have anhingas down here, water turkeys. But uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember what they're called. Um, they have them in China. It's that long neck bird that swims. I, anyway, Zach will get to it. Zach will get to it. I'm about to show you this clip. And it's this is mind blowing. Watch. Now I've had to I've had to like chop it up a little bit, speed it up here and there. Watch what this guy does with like a hatchet and a slingshot. Watch this. All right. So let me get my pants all pitchy. Out there on the show, I built the Duck Hunter 3000 initially to catch ducks. There was a cormorant or some sort of duck that kept coming by, and in Maine, I have caught cormorants accidentally while fishing on the breakwater for striper with everybody else. They come dive down with all the seagulls and steal your bait on the hook and end up getting hooked and you reel them in and unhook them and let them go. So I thought, why not try the same there? But I needed to get it out into the water away from my shelter. So I had the idea of this little teeny boat my father had made me as a kid that had a rubber band driven paddle wheel. I had extra bands for my slingshot. And so I made it, sent it out there, very quickly realized the duck was so wild he had no interest in going anything, going near anything man-made. So I made the duck hunter modification to turn it into the fish hunter. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to make the duck hunter 3000 first fishing version. Let's do it. With a proper sized wedge, you can move anything. Alright, she is ready to be attached to Duck Hunter. So out there on the show, I was allowed my slingshot with two band sets and I also had some of these scraps that I used to tie the pouches onto the bands and the bands onto the slingshot. And these are what I ended up using for the Mark 1, the Mark 2, which you can see up there was driven only by one slingshot band that wound lengthwise, you can see. But this one had it around it like a paddle wheel. There we go. She is ready to hit the water. All right, I got my pole. I'm gonna rig it. It bends like this. String comes down, toggle, another thing comes out. I'll just show it to you. But basically it's a rabbit snare 
that I use with a fishing line coming off the end instead of the snare, it's a hook. Fish bites it, sets it off. All right, time to rig her up. There it is, she's all rigged. This is like the pole here, so when normally I got the fish hook down here, keep my hand away from the hook one just in case it goes off. Um, the fish hook here would normally be a snare loop here. And the line comes up to here, so when the fish comes and grabs that and pulls on it, it's gonna drop this stick, causing the toggle to release and this spring up, setting the hook in the fish's mouth. Boom, like that. My overly elaborate <laughs> okay. method of catching fish. It works pretty good though. Oh, the SS Sparrow has it. Gone on its first maiden voyage. It did not awesome. catch a fish today. Dude, sick, I only had a little bit of time after sick. spending so much time rigging it and coming out here. I got to get back to my little family and edit this video. So next time, we will catch a fish. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Fowler out. Dude, tell me that wasn't awesome. <laughs> Sorry, we were talking in the background a little yeah, bit, but I, you could. I, that's kind of my cool. fault. Like, I, I forgot that the audio was on. I was like, "Is it on? Is off? I'm pretty sure it's off." And then it was kind of like, "I don't care. That's freaking awesome." Every time I watch it, I think the same thing. Like, how genius is that? Like splitting the log. He had a saw, took his hatchet or his, his axe, and he chipped down some wedges, and then hammers them in there, and just keeps working and working until he splits the whole log in half. That's that's cool. That is cool that is. stuff. That's like. It's a hack. It's like a nature hack. You know, sometimes when we get into survival and the bushcraft, you see the guys with like all the gear and gadgets and stuff. And I love them too. I'm, I'm not a gadget whore, but I do like the gadgets and stuff. Um, but this is taking it to another level. This is, this is real genius level creative shit right there. That to me, I, I don't know. That's hacking life. That's hacking. And that's, that's like what we do every day. That's how you, that's life survival is finding a way. I am. Destined you tonight. are going to knock it off. I'm like, watched I'm, it. like I'm, I'm on fire tonight, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Like this, talk, this talking about like hacking life, uh -huh. though, it just gets me pumped because that's what that's what life survival is about. It's taking these kind of lessons and finding a way to apply it to your life. You know, so he's he's taking a log, he's taking very rudimentary tools, and he's making this thing out of it that can potentially feed him, and that did it did yes. ended up feeding him. Um, and we're doing the same kind of thing, like with our show, and you. In a way, like you, we're, we're taking that type of example, that type of hack, that type of example from nature and lessons mm. and putting that into what we do, like what she does. I mean, she's over here working two phones and a computer um, with all the comments and the social media and all the other stuff. I mean, there's there's multiple platforms, like we mentioned before, if you're just tuning in. We're talking about YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and Facebook Live all at the same time. That's all. That's faux. That's faux. You know? <laughs> and we have to find a way to make that work. There's no like manual out there that says, hey, here's how to build a studio and do everything and, and here you go. Like it just doesn't work that I way. wish there was because it would make my life so much <laughs> easier. <laughs> it would be, and at this, you're right, it would. But, but then everybody time, else would be doing it. Everybody would be doing it and it wouldn't be a challenge. And sometimes that's the thing in life, that challenge, that that thing to overcome. You yes. know what I mean? That, that hill. And that's where... You know, as, as we go through life and business and personal life, uh, academic, you know, you find a way to make things work. Um, and my beautiful wife here recently has found a way to make things work. I'm a full-time stay-at-home dad. Um, I run life survival during the day and via her text. And then she goes to school for 20 to 30 hours a week every night. Well, three... Three nights a week this yeah. semester, but there's been semesters where it's like four nights a week, four and then you got and, Saturday. and then you got something going on on Saturday and all that kind of stuff, and it's tough. It's tough, 
And we just wanted to take a second tonight to say thank you. Oh, oh. my gosh. You've got to be <laughs> and kidding congratulations. me. Congratulations. And thank you. We wanted to let you know how proud of you Aww, we really are. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. It's cheesecake. You are very well. It's Munster cheesecake. <laughs> Munster cheesecake. Oh, my gosh. Which is kind of like debate of the week. Aww. Like, is cheesecake a pie yes. or a cake? It's a cake. Cheesecake. But it's in a crust. It's in a crust, it's in a, crust in a pan. That's the debate of the week. Is it a pie or is it a cake? And, it, and it's not like fluffy. She doesn't think. know what to say right now. She's like, I can't. We'd sing you a song, but I don't know the graduation song. I, I don't think there is a graduation song. I don't think they want to hear me singing either. Thank you. We're Thank super you. proud of you. All right. Awesome. Happy, yeah. graduation. <laughs> Happy graduation, fucker. <laughs> and Thanks. there goes the F-bomb. And there's the F-bomb of the and week, And a well-deserved one. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, what, right. what are you doing? Well, we got to get you a fork. I figured we'd wait okay. a few minutes. And... All right, so I'm stripping off camera. I'm getting a fork. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's... It's, it's a life hack, you know, like it's, it's finding a way to make it work instead of being the person that stands back and like, Oh, there's a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem and a problem. All these fires. Oh my God, what are we going to do? You put them out. You come up with a solution. You find a workaround right there on the, on that thing over there. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know where the forks are. It's the only <laughs> forks I know of here in the studio. There's like four, three of them are mine. Like there engraved two drawers on the bottom. And a cup. <laughs> <laughs> There you but, are. Thanks. But that's that's life. And big congratulations to you Thank again. You. Yeah. It's, she is a force of nature. She is amazing. An absolutely amazing woman. She really is. <laughs> and, and and I hear it from you guys too. You know, I hear it from the viewers. I see the wives and sisters and aunts kind of chiming in from time to time, like, what about women's camp? What's up, bitches? You know, like for real. Winter camp um, women. Yep, is on yep. 2018. Just yep. letting you know. And that's that's in the making. I didn't um, think about the flowers and the green stems because, well, are they floating? <laughs> they're, 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 yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I just looked down at my software. I'm sorry. I looked down. And I'm like, oh. She loves lilies, um, and there's some lilies in there that are just I starting do to bloom. Love lilies. I'm sure and, there will be pictures up later to where yeah. everybody can actually. She can, she see can post it. a picture later. <laughs> right now, it's like just the turn it around to where it's the red flowers. Oh, right here. Oh. Yeah, turn, no, right there, right there. Oh, wait, there you go. Keep it like that. You've yep, got you've like got this ghostly spew yes. of like red flower right there. Awesome. <laughs> in our treehouse. Yes. In the, background, yeah. it's a tree. in the treehouse. The treehouse in the background. I, I honestly want to believe this is one of Nelson's treehouses. And if you don't know who Nelson treehouses are. I have no idea. They have it's a show. Aaron's it's Aaron's man a, crush. It's the, this shush, week? dude. This week. Nah. <laughs> it's for like a century. <laughs> no, this guy, his, 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 his name is Mr. Nelson. Okay. He has a TV show and it's called Treehouse Masters. And so he has... <laughs> I didn't laugh at you about the paranormal stuff. <laughs> all, right, right, right. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So he builds tree houses. And I'm not talking about some sticks thrown together in a tree. I'm talking about epic level stuff. Like, and I found out, like, I watched it. I watched this show for years. And it, it was super cool. And then I heard this like little bit of a tagline and it was, he's passionate about connecting people with nature. And I, I'm telling you, it was like two 30 in the yes. morning and I was waking her up. Yeah. Like he's passionate oh, yeah. about connecting people with nature. That's like my long lost cousin or something, you know, like <laughs> for real. Well, now it gets even more weird man crush and cousin. Dude. No, you, you, <laughs> that one's on you this time, dude. That one's on you. No way. You got me with the word cohorts. I use the word cohorts. These are my two cohorts. And he's like, cohorts. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe you. No. I had to. Mr. Nelson is an absolute genius. Uh, he's actually, I, I was watching an e episode uh, recently where he went to Germany. And there's okay. another guy. Uh, it's like his protege or something. And that guy's got this. It's a stretch of land with trees and there's a clearing in the middle and all the way around it are these mega tree houses. And I mean, they're like multiple rooms connected by draw bridges and spiral staircases and just insane stuff. Nice. And when you go inside, it's not like this tree house that we're in tonight. It's more like completely furnished. It's like an Airbnb. It's a okay. ready to go to like rent out. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing. Makes me go like retarded. Uh, and so I know weird. some people get like offended for using the word retarded. 
suck it up. I say retarded. <laughs> I say fuck from time to time. You're watching a, a big boy and girl show. Kids should be in bed. We're drinking beer. We talk about stuff from time to time and things, stuff and things. A lot, of, a lot about stuff. Sometimes things. we talk about a lot of stupid people and stupid things. Yeah, we but, do talk yeah. about some stupid things, but it's great. It's fun, <laughs> stupid things, and we have we have a laugh at something. Sometimes we have a laugh at things that are a problem. Like Maggie, we J. do. Oh, uh, we <laughs> definitely do. Maggie J. Maggie J. If you're just oh. tuning in, it's a life survival show. We talk about all kinds of stuff from like survival to business, nature to nutcases, and we cover like survival videos and stuff like that. But one thing that we cover every week. I'm a, I am a diehard Florida flip-flop nation till I die, okay? But this son does something weird to people sometimes, and they do stupid crimes. I mean, mind-blowing, mind-blowingly stupid crimes. And we've got a good friend of ours, Maggie J., who lives over on the West Coast. It's the best coast. That's what's up. And Hello. Holla. Uh, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Sidetrack. <laughs> Cheers, fucker. Right? Cheers. All right. Let's go to this. Maggie J. Here is a case of a guy getting away with something he had no intentions of getting away with. Samuel Javon Reeves of Gainesville robbed a Wells Fargo bank of over $10,000 and then wandered through the parking lot of a Publix and then stopped at a KFC and asked a woman for a cigarette. Police were not far behind and Reeves admitted to robbing the bank. And I'm a little sad that he didn't get any food while he was at the KFC. He finally had some free money and didn't even get to get all fried chicken wasted. I bet he didn't even get to finish that cigarette that he bombed. And that's stealing from both smokers. See guys, this is why you have to plan every step of your crime, including once you get away with it. Cause uh, if you've got nowhere to go once you've gotten away, you're gonna get arrested at a KFC. I, I think that's the real lesson to learn here. Dustin Odom stole a box of chips from the back of a delivery truck and handed it to a woman and both of them fled to a car. The delivery driver called police who must have been right nearby because they started to pursue this vehicle and these two did not give up easily. Their path of destruction leads through a chain link fence, four police vehicles and ends in a ditch. I bet these two dum-dums didn't even get to eat the fucking chips. <laughs> it's not worth going to jail for stupid shit like this when you don't even get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Here we go. It must be Power Couple Central this week. Angela Crane and her friend Christopher Barsky were upset about some money he was owed for some weed his roommate was supposed to purchase. So they went to the friend's house to confront the roommate and Angela starts beating up the roommate and then another roommate who showed up later. The first roommate called 911 and Barsky snatched the phone away and smashed it, then punched him as well. And then the deputies arrived. They broke up a fight and discovered a child in a parked car without a car seat that had been there for about 45 minutes. Crane is being charged with simple battery and child neglect and Barsky with aggravated battery and robbery by sudden snatching. Sudden snatching! That sounds vicious. Luckily, that kid wasn't harmed, or this story would have wind up on a different kind of list, which I will be releasing in a few days, about some stories that have really pissed me off in the month of September. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. This is called Self Promo. Back to the stories. This guy, we are all gonna get a good kick out of this guy. I hope you can read it. The glare seems to be real douche right now. There we go. Hassan Burke was trying to let his friend Jen know he'd replenished his illegal drug supply, but Jen must have changed her number or something because Burke's text was received by a cop who was very interested in the trees Burke was offering. They set up a deal via text and Burke was at the right place at the right time with the right dog and smelling of marijuana. So the cops took him down. They found 16 grams on his person and charged him accordingly. I bet the cops love when they come gift wrap like that. Oh, that just makes it too easy to be a cop. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. 
if only these people actually saw us behind here. <laughs> this was I, going. I wanna, I wanna, dude, I want to like go out. I'm telling you, I, I want to go out and like. Oh man, mm. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was Maggie J bringing us Florida's dumbest criminals. Um, as you can see, there's usually no shortage of that. If you haven't you're subscribed, in yeah, you're in yes. Florida. I, no the only thing I can think that. is it's the heat. Like the heat and drugs. No, like the two together the for some reason. A lot of these people, you got to admit, they got to be yeah. on drugs. Like yeah, it's but, the people well, that yeah. are on meth. <laughs> well, I'm wondering if it's like the people who moved down who aren't originally from Florida. Oh, they tra no. Transplants. <laughs> you know You're referring I mean? to transplants like my friend oh. DJ Cisco over here. <laughs> <laughs> it, is no. It those people? <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously, seriously. I think I think it has to do with a combination of like like consuming alcohol. Uh, drugs, anything like that, that like alters your state. I think, I, I honestly, I think this somebody should like write a document. It might be. Thing. I don't know. All of it. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Man. <laughs> I'm a transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maggie oh. J, once again for bringing us the best yes. of Florida's dumbest criminals. Thank you. I, I, it's one of the highlights of my week every week, hands down. Like the the way, <laughs> and I think <laughs> here in the last couple episodes. She's actually present in the episode, yeah. oh, presenting oh. her content, you know. And I think I it think, makes it better. It, I, I think it does. I think, I think it does. Awesome. It takes it to like a whole other level. It really does. Um, I, I still, I say it every week. I'd love to have Maggie J. I think we all can agree. We would yes. love to have Maggie J. in the studio. She is an extremely busy woman. Um, I know she puts a lot of time into finding the best of the best. Like there's a whole slew of people doing dumb stuff, no matter where you are. Um, and she, she works her butt off. She yep. really does. And she stays busy with what she does. Um, as far as a journalism standpoint, she's got the, the right amount of humor with the right story. Like, she she hits it on the money every single time. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, content you just want to watch over and over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've actually gone through. If you haven't subscribed, you should. Audrey put a, a link mm -hmm. somewhere there in the comments, and that'll let you know where. Just go search for it. You know, give her a thumbs up. That tells her. She's doing a good job so that you know how it works. If you're just tuning in right now, this is a life survival show. I feel bad for you because you missed a whole bunch of good stuff already. But that's okay because next Thursday, you can watch at 9 o'clock again because we do this thing. This madness happens every week at next 9 o'clock. Next Thursday is going to be bananas. Dude, next Thursday is going to – y'all don't even oh, want to know. Real quick, yes. someone replied to your question about pie or cake. <laughs> yes. Um, Bring Chris, it. Christine says cake. 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 I'm going with bake. bake. I actually like that. I, 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 I don't know you, Christine. Actually, I probably do. Is it here? Christine Cruz? Oh. Christine Cruz. Yes. He's yeah. like, yeah, I, I do, do know, know you, know Christine. We've claimed lakes together, <laughs> syringes, and all kinds of great stuff we found mm -hmm. out there. Um, bake. I'm good with bake. Bake. I don't know. I, I can see like like the cheesecake thing. I can see it because how else are you gonna make a cake that's fluffy bread with cheese? That's it's that's a tough that's a tough thing, um, and I, I I'd like to see somebody make that happen because I will eat that. Um, from a pie standpoint, though, like I said before, it's got the crust. It does. You're making something, pouring it in there. It's a crust. You bake this thing in a pie pan, in an oven. Actually, you don't bake it in a pie pan. I'm sorry to. Oh, you just got shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so no, how, nope, go ahead. Come on, please. <laughs> Enter my cake, me woman. No, you use, I don't know what the proper words for it, but it's like a, you, you use water. It, oh, oh, yeah. oh. So like we do that sometimes in the woods when we're working with a Dutch oven and we'll yeah. put water in there. We'll have a pot inside of yeah. a pot with, yeah. with water and we'll mm -hmm. put the lid on that way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's why, oh. yeah. Yeah, I don't know the terminology. See, terminology. she's hot, and she knows shit about pies. I mean, cakes. 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 And that means <laughs> that at winter camp, they should make cheesecake at camp because we have Dutch ovens and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, you guys and, won't be there to try and it. Obviously, it's okay, you guys is... but the GoPro will, and we need quality content, so what would you guys <laughs> like to see? And obviously, a bunch of hot wives out in the woods, all bushcraft and survival and stuff, <laughs> making cheesecake. I mean, Cakes. Get by the fire and make me a pie. 
Yes. <laughs> well, I was just wondering. I'm like, wow, that's not what I thought a Dutch oven was. <laughs> yeah, so J- Jason Hudson. This guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this guy right here. Let me yeah. tell you something about this guy. <laughs> well played, it's, it's sir. Okay. You, well played. You and Jason Hudson are on the same page. Okay. Awesome, Jason. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm like, Jason's that's not, not what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, my boy, he tunes in every week. Um, He's always got good stuff. Awesome. If you're not friends with him, <laughs> how's your life? Because I am, and my life's good. Nice. nice. <laughs> Go be friends with that dude. <laughs> Go be friends with that guy on Facebook. I want to hit. Hold on one second. Jason. <laughs> Jason Hudson. If you're just tuning in, we're having loads of fun here on the Life Survival Show. We're broadcasting to li- tonight live on four different platforms. YouTube Live, Instagram, Twitch, and Facebook Live all at the same time. Each week we cover all kinds of crazy stuff. Shiznit. From survival to business and nature to nutcases. Most nutcases are here in Florida. If you're outside of Florida and you'd like to send me an article or a video or something like that, be to hook me up, tag me in it, whatever. Um, I'd like to include that in our show. Um, we talk about all kinds of madness. We do drink beer. Uh, so it's a good time for your kids to go to bed and um, grab a cocktail, kick back in bed. Sometimes people post pictures of them hanging out. My buddy Mark is chilling in his bed with the big plasma screen, flat screen kicking up above him. Which he's hanging that was out awesome. Watching. Dude, that was golden. That was awesome. That was golden. That, that was, <laughs> that's money, son. Money. When I got tagged in that picture, I was like, oh, he's got the life right now. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's dope shit. For real. For real. We do curse from time to time. It's not obscene. We don't show any porn- pornography or anything crazy like that. There's People four things. Twerking. Yeah, we did show this chick twerking on top of a car in Miami. But that's Florida. That's crazy shit. And she was kind of hot. So that's a real thing. Oh, hey. If you're going to twerk in Miami, do it on a car. We do talk about some crazy stuff from time to time. Um, my wife would agree, even though she rolls her eyes. That's mad. Quite dude. Like somebody, <laughs> cause Somebody's twerking on top of a car and that's not like newsworthy. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, that, that was... That's, that, that's like the epic of Florida dumb dumb criminals right there. Like when Maggie Joe Maggie J hit that... Sorry, Maggie Joe. Sorry, Maggie Joe. I don't know you. But when Maggie J... <laughs> She's in Kentucky. Maggie right? J is in Tampa. <laughs> you asking for a bitch right now. I'm in Kentucky and I can't believe you just mentioned Maggie Joe on our show. Assholes. <laughs> no. Sorry, Maggie Joe. I was talking about Maggie J. She comes up with the best stuff, and seeing a chick twerk on top of a car going down the freeway outside of Miami, that's money. That's Florida's dumbest at its finest. There's incredibly talented. I've seen people just flush their entire lives down the drain right here well, in Florida. I didn't see a girl twerking outside of the car, but I saw her twerking in the car going down I-4. Nice. Yeah, I've seen and you didn't record before. that. And I drove like, a truck. Like, like, I drove a truck like for like a year and a half. Morning. I seen that. I seen that. <laughs> I wish a GoPro and like the phone worked as well as it does does now. When I was driving a truck back in the day, I could blackmail like fifty people a week. It was insane. <laughs> I saw the back oh, of so man. many heads on the. I'm, it was. I'm gonna stop now. Like I said, right. it's not a friendly <laughs> show, okay? Sometimes some things happen, and then some, some, some. What happened like, was. See what had <laughs> happened was. It's kind of like. <laughs> nice. It's gonna be one of those nights, folks. If you're just tuning in now, it's getting insane around here, okay? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a life survival show. We talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. We cover survival videos. Um, we talk about uh, dude life, business, raising kids. Uh, 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 social media. We talk about the technology we use and how we improve it every week. A lot of the examples that we we use relate to like nature and survival and things mm-hmm. like that. Um, the, DJ Cisco is the producer of this show. This is my beautiful wife, Audrey. If you're wondering why this piece of cake cake is Pake. is here, um, this is pie cake. Pie cake. You'll have to wait until the episode's over. Go back, watch it again. We won't hate you for it. We'll love you for it. And you're not a loser because you did watch. That's real shit. Uh, We have a giveaway every week. Um, Which, yeah. People who have won the giveaway, like, if you want the stuff, give me your address. Yeah, pay attention, bitches. For real. You won some (laughs) shit, okay? It's worth something. If you don't want it, I will use it. I'm talking to you. You. 
You with the two eyes, like those ears and shit you got there. I'm talking to you. Put your address in a message and send it to me. Yeah, okay? I, can't, I can't ship it out without knowing where I'm shipping it. Hello? And so, it's not gonna one of those things where like, oh, you do the jarring and I'm gonna like let you know. Bitch, I got other things to do in my life. I've got butts to wipe, toilets to clean. I've got a business to run. I ain't even get started yet. Period. You see how hot my wife is? You know what it takes to maintain this kind of woman? Fuck you, dude. Put your address in a message and send that <laughs> shit to me. Okay? Ain't got time for this. She just shakes ain't her nobody head. Like, oh. What? Got time for this. That's oh real. my god. Hey, no, I'm trying to help you out. Make your life easier. Mm. I mean, if you won, pay attention. Dude, you won. You want your thing that you won, your gear, that dope ass like $120 backpack or whatever it is? I can't send it to you if you don't give me your address. Yeah. yeah. That's real. Right? Because I have to hear about this shit. Yeah, I'm wondering why I can't. And send trying to get shit behind off. the scenes. Yeah, yeah it's okay. she's like, oh, it's it's time to ship everything. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? I'm like, hey, what you mean? What am I doing? I well, need... what's the name and address? And I'm like, I I, I don't know. She's like, what do you mean you don't know? I got this box. I'm here. I got to do what my thing. And what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh. And I'm I'm it's sitting it. over there looking. I got like a four year old like crawling on the walls with a crayon in his mouth, like stabbing it. And I'm like, ha ha. Dude, just, just send please. a damn address. You won. Send a damn address. That's real. So every week we have a giveaway. Sorry, I didn't mean to get Oh, no, no. I, I was going to say, we have a dope giveaway tonight, too. Dude, we got some sick stuff. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Not only... Can you grab, grab that? Uh, okay. it's, it's the... Like, yes, I can. <laughs> and I was talking about yes. the, the, the prize. Yes, I All can. Right. <laughs> so this week I've got this ridiculous... Can I shine a laser in the camera? Uh, I always no, take it from him. He's like, I want one of those. Sorry, DJ Cisco. I don't get anything. You don't, you don't Can get you guys anything. say you don't get one of these? <laughs> Poor DJ Cisco. <laughs> no, but this is a, an incredible laser. I already charged it up because, of course, i got to play with it before I give it to you. What the hell's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You think I wouldn't play with this laser? Stop before I the freaking you? laser. I'll, I'll fucking shine you in the... Uh -oh. The coolest part, and I know you probably can't see this, but it says green, green laser, laser pointer. pointer. That's right, folks. A green laser pointer. The craziest part is this thing retails for like a hundred bucks. Not even kidding. Dude that sold it or gave it to us was at a gun show from Miami. He's his that laser. same guy with the lantern that we don't know what the name of his business is. Yes. We gave away the lantern. It'll it'll stay charged for like seven days. Yes. Seven days. You plug this thing and charge it up this, and go camping for a week and just leave it on and you've always got light. This is the one that this is the one that does the toast thing. No, no, no. Not okay. this one, not this one. But okay. he has he has this guy has lasers and his his uh his thing at the show is he holds out a bagel and he like toasts a bagel with a laser. He's like, me. Would you like butter on that? I'm like, <laughs> sold. I'll take seven. Yes. Thank you. You mean I can like? And yes, I want butter on that. What yes. are you asking? <laughs> we'll take butter and cinnamon too. No, seriously, like dope ass laser. This is our giveaway tonight. But you gotta keep watching and wait for the drawing because I'm not giving it away right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta keep sharing. Suckers. Yeah, to win you gotta share. Yeah, sure, you know, because I'm sure yeah. there's people tuning in for the first time and they're like, I want to win, but how the heck do I win? Okay, that's how you win. Sharing is caring. Yeah. A bunch of weird losers. And, and uh, tagging. Tagging. There's little magnets. Yeah, tagging. Yeah, there's like little magnets in the lid. What? Well, I think it's... I, we, we get gear sometimes and I'm like, I want it. You know, she won't let me have it. She's like, no, it's got to go to this thing where this guy did this thing. and I'm like, said the oh, same God. shit for eight weeks. God. Yeah, I'm telling you. So that's, <laughs> that's tonight's giveaway. We'll get to uh, to some more stuff a little bit later on uh, that we're going to be giving away. Um, and the gear is cool, okay? The gear is cool. Some of this gear is epic. But having skills, like real skills, and, and when it comes to like survival and outdoors, like the, the laser pointer, have fun with your cat, dude. Make a video, tag me in that shit. I will totally watch it. I'm not gonna even act oh, like yeah. I would watch it. I will totally I'd watch a cat. It. Yeah, I'd watch it. Yeah. It doesn't get, I mean, like sometimes they get me. <laughs> they put it in a loop and I've been there for like an hour and a half and I'm like, oh, fuck, this is the craziest cat. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, my four year old's climbing the wall, you know, I was talking about before with the crayon in his mouth and like a knife and stabbing it and stuff. Actually, That's no, how... he did climb the counter. Oh. So he climbed the counter today. He moved the bar stool up to the kitchen. So, oh, 
Let me just real shit. Yeah. <laughs> I... So we have his Halloween bucket. It still has candy, not from Halloween. This is actually from the parade. And so we put this Halloween bucket full of candy on top of the refrigerator. And so when he's good, he gets a piece of candy, whatever, whatever. And so this morning, he decides that he's going to go downstairs by himself. And he... Wait, wait, wait. wait. He, he comes in the bed. She's already left for work. I got up. I brushed my teeth. My morning routine. I went and I lay back in bed. He's cool. He's hanging out in his room. He comes and tells me. He's like, hey, Papa. I'm like, what's up, buddy? Going downstairs. I'm like, no, you're staying in your room. I took the baby gate and everything down. He's four. Like, he just turned four, but we put the baby gate up because it's like this. It's like a mental thing. It's like a mental thing. He, like, comes to it and he's like, hey. But he can totally open it. Yeah. He, he's like, <laughs> he can just, yeah. like, open up his house inside, but he's just, like, hangs out and he's like, hey, Papa. I'm like, what's up? And I hear, that's like, come in. Like, he's coming into my office, right? He comes in and tells me, he's like, I just want to let you know, I'm going downstairs and, uh, <laughs> I'm going to hang out down there. I might be back up in a little bit. My train set is still out. I cleaned up the other stuff. And I'm like, no, I'd really prefer that you stay in your room and um, hang out there. Would you like breakfast? No. Mom made me some kefir. And then like right before she left, she gave me some orange juice. So like my belly is full right now. And I'm like, okay, okay. That's solid. Please go back to your room. He's like, oh. Okay, Papa. And I hear, <laughs> you know, I'm like, all right, tight work. <laughs> so I'm catching some like treehouse masters and stuff like that, you know, and I'm on Animal Planet. And then I hear this and it's upstairs. And I was like, well, that's weird. And it's like going away from my room. I'm like, huh, this kid. So I creep out in the hallway. I look down around the stairs, downstairs, and I'm looking. The bar stool's in its place, but <laughs> the little pumpkin from Halloween is sitting there on the calen on on the counter. And I'm like, "That son of a bitch!" And I see the wrapper from like a lollipop <laughs> laying there. No, he threw the wrapper away. That's right. That's right. That's right. He did. He threw the wrapper away. He's like that slick. So I go in his room. I'm all creeping. And I get to his room and I look in. There's nobody in there. And I'm like, hey, Silas. And he's like, yeah. So what, what are you doing, buddy? He's like, oh, nothing. All been chilling. I'm just sitting here. And, and then I was like, huh, all right. So I come walking around his bed. He's sitting on the other side with this lollipop licking like a crackhead, bro. I ain't kidding you. Like he's like, he knows, he knows, he knows like going downstairs was a no, no, oh getting on the bar stool, get, oh the, the whole thing was just like totally not going to happen. And so he's like, <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I got a lollipop from my Halloween bucket and I used my stool, but my feet worked great and I didn't fall. And I was like, and half of me is like, well, fuck yeah, son. Score. Awesome. That's how you raise a pirate, <laughs> you know? And the other half of me was like, super uh -oh. dangerous. You should never do that. And so I was like kind of middle of the road. And I'm like, no way. Is it good? And he's like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I'm like, really? Let me see. And I'm like, it is. It's incredible. I think it's great. And he's like, yeah. And so I give it back to him. And he's like, He's like going to town on this thing. He's like, yeah, he's holding it on his hand. I'm like, okay, don't ever, <laughs> ever, ever go downstairs and do that again. You don't get candy unless mom or papa give you permission. I told you to stay in your room. And for that, you lose the lollipop. Don't ever do that again. Please Follow tell me you put it, in your, put it in your mouth and walk away. Don't. <laughs> not even kidding. I was like, Never. Do that again. No, yes. I, I, totally, I did, I did oh, not do that. I did not. Absolutely right. did not do that. No, I, oh, no, I'm kidding. I totally did not do that. He would have done that. I would have. And that's why God blessed him. That's why God and nature blessed him with a daughter. With a daughter. Oh, don't even. No. So he didn't do that. But if he had a son, he would have done that. I but I didn't. I would have. I didn't. And, and I actually went and threw it away and everything. And he knew. He's like, 
holy shit, fuck Batman. I'll never do that again. Like, he was scared. <laughs> like, scared out of his mind. He was like, oh, my God, that was the most horrible experience ever. He kind of, like, sniffled about it and cried. I was like, no. Nope. You broke the rules, bro. You do the crime, you face the time. And he was like, oh, holy shit, that's serious. And, like, he straightened right up. He was like, okay, that was a great day after that. So, yeah, absolutely insane, our four-year-old. I don't even know how. Did you do that? Did you side yeah. map tra- track me on a, on a side of story? I just mentioned something about <laughs> and She's like, it over. Well, I, 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 I did. Kinda, See, the, yeah. tru- the truth of the matter is I probably pirated that conversation because yeah. I'm so much a pirate. Like, <laughs> finding a hack in life and another way to do it and make it happen. And Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. So speaking of hacks in life and and like survival and things like that, if you're just tuning in, not a kid friendly show. In case you didn't notice, if you didn't notice, pay attention. Life must suck for you. Um, this is a life survival show, and we talk about things from survival to business, nature to nutcases here in Florida. Uh, to it's our not kids. A, our kids. Yeah, we were just talking about kids yes. and parenting and things like that. Uh, we talk about business, social media, advertising, our technology that we use, all kinds of cool stuff. Stuff that you can actually put into use. Every day in your life. We're over the hump heading towards Friday. It's Thursday. Yes. It's Thursday. It's closing to Christmas. I, I, I it's closing to I get Christmas. There to say it's getting yes close. And, and I'm like, but I work. It's, I, I know. I'm, I'm right. But that's, that's the thing. <laughs> it, makes, it makes Friday so much smoother when you get to kick back and just kind of relax the night before. You know, it really does. Um, I wouldn't know because that's not the life I live and I feel sorry for you. And, uh, aside from that, not you, I don't feel sorry for you. Not at all. You're like a nine to five type of, no, I can't do it. I tried that one time. Damn near lost my mind. Ended up getting naked on TV. That's a whole other story. In fact, you can watch that story. It just aired an hour before, um, uh, discovery channel, naked and afraid. You should watch it. Um, (laughs) Or or not, and that's or, okay too. Or not. <laughs> or, or not. Like I, we I, I get some strange followers from fans. Oh, the, stalkers. I am sure. Strange oh, pictures. Man. I'm like through two in the morning. I'm like, huh? dude, you got to see this shit. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to see that shit, dude. I'm care. trying to sleep. I check out finals tomorrow. <laughs> but not anymore because she no. graduated, and that's no. why there's a piece of pie right here. Hence the pie. Pake. The pake. It's and the <laughs> I got her to call it a pie. It's a pake. It's cake? a cheesecake, but it should be flowers. a cheese. You, you even tricked me on that one because I was like, "Pink." <laughs> See how I do? You I catch did. you slipping. Pay attention now. Um, oh, jeez. No, we were talking about life <laughs> hacks earlier. Um, find, like we saw Zach Fowler's thing. We um, did. We did, which was keeping this sense incredible. You, you could tell he kept his mind like open and fun and almost like with a sense of humor. We talked about Maggie's sense of humor. We talked about Maggie J. Uh, we had her come in and tell us about uh, Florida's dumb criminals. Um, now, this is something else that we cover in every episode. and it, This is viewer-generated type of content. People want to see this. They ask for it. One of the things I'm really big on is making cordage. It's the thread that holds our entire world together. From the way that the, the, the cables are for a, a steel bridge, the way they're twisted, um, to the threads that hold your clothes together. It's the thread that holds everything together and keeps us insulated. It's cordage is what it's called. Uh, everything from rope to thread. When I was in Peru, I watched these 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 people sit there and make, um, they took alpaca fur and spun it into like a, a, a thread and then they put a twist on it and they dyed it and they went through all this. Absolutely amazing. But making cordage is huge. And it's one of the few things when it comes to survival and bushcraft, and you know this too, mm-hmm. like when we host our gatherings, we're always looking for uh, quality instructors that can yes. like really teach those core skills. And cordage is one of them. Like say you can make a really cool basket and you can weave some shit. Right on. High fives. I can't. Good on you. Um, to trim it out, you need some like really nice cordage to go around it, to make it nice and sturdy and tight. Um, to make your clothes to make a button and the thread that goes through it. Something simple like that, that holds your clothes together. The cord that holds this around my neck um, or, or this bone hook around my neck. Um, cordage holds everything, your, your shoelaces. My shelters, yeah. When I yeah. go on and I teach shelter courses and stuff like that, that's what, and, and it's not a cheat. I go out, the class is not on cordage. 
If it was, that's a whole day or two in itself. I teach shelter building and we use pre-made cordage to put the shelter together. Um, but cordage is huge. It's what kept me alive in uh, Central America. Um, and, and a good, good friend of our family is a, a guy named Dave McIntyre. So Dave, much like Zach Fowler, who you saw his video earlier, the Duck Hunter 3000, uh, much like Zach, he won History Channels alone. Um, he rocked it solo. He only had only a, a few tools in his backpack uh, and he killed it. He absolutely, he kept his composure. He stayed focused. He stayed calm. He found solutions to problems. And one of the biggest things that he did, he fell back on cordage and he focused on that. And I mean, he, he killed it. So here's, here's a short clip that he sent us. I, I, I reached out to him earlier. You know, we were talking about the show and stuff. He sent me a, a, one of his YouTube channels and, and Audrey's put his channel in the comments and stuff so that you can see a link to that uh, and go and subscribe. But one of the big things about cordage is what, what you use for the material to produce the cordage. You can't go out and use leaves. You can't use the, the crusty bark off an oak tree. Um, you're gonna go with, you, you have to recognize the long fibers that it takes to, to spin and make cordage. Um, and, and Dave is gonna cover that right here. Fantastic clip. Thank you, Dave, so much for sending this to, this, this to us, forgive me. Um, and thank you for emphasizing the importance of cordage. We spend so much time talking about our knives uh, because that's the ability to sever things, the ability to cut, the ability to shape things into the objects that you need to survive in the wilderness. And there's something romantic about owning knives, buying knives, carrying knives, everybody wants a knife. But the ability to sever things in the bush is, is essential. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, that we shouldn't be talking about knives and all that. But the ability to bind things together that nature never intended to be put together or never put together naturally is an essentially human quality. And an essential skill in that is the ability to make cordage. I personally think that cordage making is one of the most underrated skills among bushcrafters. It seems to me like everybody gets to a point where they learn how to uh, do the uh, you know, reverse twist method to a certain de limited degree. They make a few, you know, a foot or two of cordage and think, okay, I've got this skill in the bag. I've got it done. Dogbane is a commonly found plant in North America. Uh, one of its uh, more common names is Indian hemp, and that's when the settlers first came here. They saw the, the Native Americans using this plant to make rope. This is a shaft of dogbane I harvested in late winter. You can tell it's got that reddish color to it. Now the problem with dogbane is that the fiber is located underneath this red uh, waterproof outside covering. So you have to harvest this at late, late winter before the, the thaw usually. Uh, Any time from you know, midwinter on, if you find dogbane, you can harvest it. So I do this outside usually. Uh, it is a messy process. We'll show you how to take that red covering off and expose the nice golden fibers underneath. This is the tedious part of, of processing dogbane that you pretty much just, there's really no easy way to do this that I've ever found, is you just have to scrape each stalk until you have enough fiber to do your project, whatever you're working on. You can see some of, some of them, when you're scraping, get quite fuzzy. And no matter what you do, it doesn't seem like it makes a difference what direction you, you scrape it in. I scrape this one from the head down. It just has a lot of fiber. If you leave these fuzzy balls attached, what happens is they end up making lumps in your cordage and they can be hard to, to work with. So I try and clean up the, the shaft as much as I can. If I step on it like that, it'll break into four pieces. And each one of these then, I'm gonna separate into quarters. This one broke a little funny. On the ones that are nice and thin, you can break them just with your fingers. Okay, once the shafts are all broken, you have this kind of a mess. Now the idea of this 
is that the fiber is running along the outside of the uh, woody stem. And if you break, I like to take them two at a time, break a small section off, and then peel it upwards and away from the fiber, that leaves the fiber behind and you get rid of the, the woody stem. So break and lift. And sometimes if you grab the fiber from the other side and pull, you'll actually get more fiber off of it. Okay, so that is, that is the fiber, the amount of fiber that I got from one half of one of those stalks. That was the stalk split into quarters, then working two quarters at the same time or half the stalk. I was able to remove that, that length of fiber. And now we're going to add that to the bundle of fiber we've already produced. Really, anything you want to make out of cordage, you can make out of dog bane. It is extremely strong stuff. You can make a bow drill cord. You can make a bow string with it. It's just really good stuff, and it's nice and soft and supple. It feels good against your skin, so if it is going to be touching skin, like a lanyard around your neck or a bracelet or whatever, that it's, uh, it's fine for that. So stay tuned. Uh, part two will be actually showing the process of making cordage with the dogbane fiber and uh, a technique which I use, which not too many other people use, for actually making cordage, which is, goes a lot faster than the reverse twist method. So stay tuned for part two. Dude, that was awesome. That, that was, was awesome. that was great. Like he, 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 I, I like that he stressed the importance of cordage, yeah. and and how much uh, that's a basic skill, and people think they got it, and they don't. It's it's not just so much like when I teach, I use a special type of grass, and mm -hmm. I teach people a certain wrap, and it's a good starter type thing. Right. Getting into how to source the material, material and process all of that is a whole other. A whole other thing in itself um, absolutely amazing the job that he did out on a loan uh, mm. Dave McIntyre if you're not uh, following him you should be over on his YouTube channel find him on Facebook um, he posts from time to time on uh, history channels alone on their uh, Facebook feed okay uh, nice. he posts in there there's little groups and stuff like that um, he's a good one to follow smart guy very nice. sharp very sharp and he, he does see that there are these components. I mean, a lot of it, a lot of survival is is, is psychological, mm -hmm. but there are these basic core skills that need to be known. Here locally, we don't have a lot of dog bane, um, so we use other stuff. Uh, we use a lot of palmettos. Okay. Um, I use uh, Carolina willow. It's in the Salix family. We find it growing alongside of roads and stuff like that. I'll use the bark of that. Much the same that he uses it. A little bit different. Um, what else do we use, sweetie, for cordage? Um, I just looked up the Bahia grass. Oh, Rafia grass. Rafia. I, I that's call it what Bahia. It, <laughs> it's a, it's it's basically just a long grass yeah. that you pick and dry out, um, mm -hmm. and it, it works really well for for teaching cordage. It's super super cheap, super light. Um, I always have like a ball of it. Yeah. Um, that brings me to something. Um, kind of a side note. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, it's a life survival show. We talk about everything from survival to business and nature to Florida nut cases. It's not a kid-friendly show. We drink beers. We drop F-bombs from time to time. Um, as with life survival, our company, um, we focus on connecting people with nature. Uh, and through that, we show different videos and we talk about them and we interact with the audience. Um, we want to know what your interests are when it comes to survival and bushcraft or from getting through the day, surviving the day, surviving yeah. life every single day. We talk about our technology, all kinds of great stuff. Um, but I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of, you know, not to get sidetracked and we're kind of on a somewhat serious topic, but I really want some feedback to know what you guys think about the pie or cake thing. I, yeah, I haven't I, seen the comments. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, we're going back I, to that. Taking it back. Back. Yeah. No, seriously, I'm, 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 I'm kind of stuck on that. Is I want to see that. Is cheesecake a pie or is cheesecake a cake? A cake. And I say it's more of like a pie because it's cooked in a crust in a pie pan. No, it's but not it's cooked not really in a pie cooked. pan. But, but they, they got to put it in something to make the form it's, of a... Yeah, it's like a spring a spring pan. Mm -hmm. Spring, what is spring that called? Pan. I don't know. I don't anyway. know. I'm not a baker. But to me, it seems like it's more of a pie. So I want you guys to settle we down. We have had a pake. A pake. A pake. 
That was Christine. Pink. I'm down with yes. the pig. Pink. Pink. I'm down with the pig. Definitely. It's still a cake. Just say it's a cake. That's it has pink. cake in the name of it. Yeah, but the, people name stuff stupid stuff, and like there's no reason for it sometimes. Do you know of any pie that has the pie in the name, but it's really a cake? Shepherd's pie. It's not. Give me that bag. Give me that bag. Think about something. I'm like, yeah, what, yeah. it has pie in it, but it's not a pie. <laughs> so that's the life survival show, folks. Thanks for tuning in again. Now every week, you ask a question, my mind went wah. <laughs> every week, <laughs> every week we have a giveaway. This week we're giving away a laser pointer. We have a very, very big giveaway coming up. Yes. Um. On Christmas next week not is on it not on Christmas, but for Christmas okay. for the holidays we've got a huge gift giveaway, well over a thousand dollars. Brands such as Real Deal Brazil, Spot, one of my sponsors. Um, gosh, throw it Smoky out there. Mountain Knife Smoky Works. Mountain Knife Works. Zachary uh, Fowler. I was going to say Zachary, Zachary Fowler. Zach, Mr. Yeah. Zach Fowler. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hold on, Zachary Fowler. This is the new shirt. Hold there on. it is. There with the slingshot. slingshot. In fact. We're going to be giving away, hey, um, hand me some of those backpacks, not the one with the machete. We'll get yeah. to that in a little bit. Yeah, I want to, I want to what, highlight what some of the oh. stuff. Um, how about the black one, the North Face? We're going to give away a North Face backpack. Uh-oh. Okay? Um, I didn't do this. I... <laughs> this is a North Face Borealis, okay? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cover some of the stuff. Uh-oh. She's been telling us for like two weeks we can't talk about this stuff. No way. Um, but you know what? Next week we're doing this giveaway and Smoky Mountain Knife Works is giving away $100 to a lucky winner. The only way that you're going to be able to win this is to share. That's how that works. Sharing is caring. Show the love. Share as many times as you can because everybody that has shared from the first time we aired the pilot season will be put into a drawing. That's right. Every share Every is single worth an entry. Share is an entry yeah. so the more you share the more likely you are to win along with this is a swag bag there's stickers there's a, a, a cleaning cloth in here all kinds of other stuff um i'm gonna have to toss this off to the oh, side here um just throw it just throw it. <laughs> oh, by the way on, on the sharing though, this backpack it, is full of cool stuff oh wow oh, oh. um so really? we're giving away. Oh, really? We're, no, I'm not oh, putting that one no, out there. No, no, no. I'm not. Uh, what? I don't know. We may. Y- yeah. No? no. I don't even know what it is because you did this all on your oh, own. Oh, 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 oh. I'm um, not. I'm not in compliance, in accord. I'm not in accord with what you're doing right now. I am giving. We, we're giving point. away a slingshot from Simple Slingshots. This is signed by Zach Fowler. Um, Incredible! Nice. It's I think it's I think it's the mm. Simple Shot Scout. Uh, if you want to buy one for a loved one right now, you can go to his website, order before the 18th, and you can have it by Christmas. Tell him I sent you. You better, um, you better, you better stop, or you're gonna be sleeping on the couch. Dude, check this out. <laughs> check this out right here. Holy cow! A two-person hammock and the straps that go with it retail over a hundred bucks from Grand Trunk. This was actually, I won this from Outsiders USA. Outside, it's a local company. They've got all kinds of really cool Florida outdoor type, I don't know, survival, camping, all kinds of yeah, great stuff over really there. Cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. But this comes with the trunk, hammock hanging trunk straps and a two person hammock. And it's super ultra light. Really, really cool stuff. Um, so right there alone is uh. I'm what? gonna be sharing this One, about a hundred times. I still get I still get credit, right? No. Man. Another thing, <laughs> just to throw this out there. Share, just share it. Just share it. This is a boot dagger from Sly Steel. Really? You're showing right that? there. Oh. Sly Steel. I am not showing everything. There's loads more, folks. Loads more. Keep sharing. Sharing is caring. Every time you share, you get in the running Every to win. Shares. But there is a stipulation for the Christmas giveaway. This is badass. Tagging, just saying. No, so you want to share, you want to tag, but when we announce who the winner is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put your name in the comments. If you don't respond to me before the show is over, I will redraw a name for someone else who's watching. So you actually have to be... nice. Yeah, you have to be watching. And if I put your name in there, all I need is a hey, awesome, cool, just one response. Something acknowledging. Something acknowledging that... 
do you see that you won? Right. Absolutely. If not, I, I'm going to have to draw another name. So. Absolutely. Sorry. Real Deal Brazil, canvas backpacks, all kinds of cool stuff. I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. Sharing is caring. You share it, blast it all over the place. Other people watch. We get the growth. <laughs> and we'll take it. We absolutely will. I'll take it to yes. another level. Dude. This wasn't my, what, wasn't my yeah, idea. Yeah, what, whatever. What, what, I didn't do it. Finally. Next week. <laughs> next week. A spot Gen 3 from Global Star Spot activated for a year. This is my sponsor. Nice. You can, by sharing, you can win this. That's what's coming up next week. And that's not even tip of the iceberg. We got more coming. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> and you don't, you. you don't have to share during the uh, live show. Share as many. I mean, we would appreciate it if you did. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I but, we would love if you did that. Yeah, but any, sh any share. Yeah. That I can, any share that I can see you get an entry into the drawing. So awesome. Um, like I said, if your privacy settings are way up there, tag Aaron, tag DJ Cisco, tag me, tag someone so we know that you share it. Tag me and life survival. Yes. Either or, and we'll see it. You can tag him if you want to. I ain't tagging him, but that's all between y'all. So you can, um, but uh, you know. <laughs> it's Thursday, bitches. Friday's just around the corner. I'm, I'm I'm ready to fire my manager anyway. Like no, holy cow! Yeah. No, we have we have an incredible giveaway coming up next week on the Life Survival Show next Thursday. To enter, you have to share. To win, you have to share. Share, tag me. Incredible stuff coming up. More stuff coming in. It's gonna blow your mind. I'm telling you, it's worth watching. It's worth sharing. Some of this stuff, I, I usually, I don't get too like hyped up about it. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's cool. I'm you know? excited about it. She's excited about it. And I'm seeing some of the stuff like, I don't want to give it away. You know, oh, like for real. I say that every week. So the, there is more stuff that you haven't mentioned, but I think what we can do is maybe going up to, we'll post pictures about the different things that are up for grabs. Yeah, throughout this uh, week. Yeah. Throughout this week. Oh, uh, that, that, okay. We can do that. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you just tuning in, it's about 10.15. You've come in a little bit late. It's okay. We forgive you. They forgive you. I don't forgive you. I think you suck, but that's okay. <laughs> You'll get it right next week at 9 o'clock. We're streaming live tonight on four different platforms. This is epic for us. We yes. are on Instagram, YouTube, Live, Twitch, and Facebook all at the same time. We're hacking technology, kind of. We're hacking life. This is a life survival show, and that's what we do. We're finding a way to get to you no matter where you are. We show survival videos, nature videos. We talk about Florida's dumbest criminals that do some of the most insane things. We laugh at them. We laugh at ourselves. A lot of times we're laughing at you and you don't even know that, but that's yeah, something. Laughing right now. Okay, just kidding. We're not, we're not, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing okay. with you. We're laughing with you. We're laughing with you. At you, because we see we're laughing the humor. with you at you. Yeah. We're, we're, we're laughing at you. Yeah, at you. Oh, we like, laughing at you. It's creative. No. So it's a life survival show. Pink, pink, pink and whack. And wh <laughs> we're laughing at you I'm because we oh, eat pink every Thursday night, nine o'clock till ten o'clock, and then sometimes we go over. Actually, we've gone over we've every single gone time. Gone over like. Yeah, we've tried so hard to work our content into one hour, and that shit just doesn't happen. Hey, for those of you tuning in on these different platforms, I want to know, he needs to know, how do we sound? How clear is it? How are yes. you interacting with the show? This is a life survival show. This is what we do. We need that feedback from you. Um, I'm surviving from you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Weird, real quick. Pretty true. <laughs> I'm thriving on you right now, like parasites. I just caught my pen. That was really smooth, and I almost knocked my beer over twice. So this means this is not a kid-friendly show. If you have kids in the room, get them out of the room. Put them into bed. Whatever you do here in Florida, people use chloroform, lock them in trunks, all kinds of bizarre it's shit. Not. I heard NyQuil yeah. is great. NyQuil. I don't know. I heard that. That's all I got to say about that. Benadryl? Yeah, I don't we know. We heard it. We yeah, we, we heard that one time from this guy. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should news. stop now because I've already named off two. 
No. <laughs> Shit gets weird in Florida. We cover Florida dumb news, dumb criminals that do absolutely bizarre stuff. Every week we have Maggie J that brings us Florida's dumbest criminals. We do a giveaway. We just listed off some incredible stuff. Well over a thousand dollars worth of gear we're giving away next week. On the twenty first. On the twenty first. Which is the first day of winter and winter solstice. And our tenth episode, we hit double digits. And it's yep. double digits, bitches. <laughs> yep. Double digits, bitches. So it's our tenth episode. All you got to do is share. Bigger things are coming. Um, much bigger things. Much, <laughs> much bigger things. Much bigger things. Um, you, you, you can't even imagine what's coming for 2018. And, and you know, for those of you to tune in again, um, we talk about business. We talk about parenting. Yeah. Sometimes. Um, everything that you can imagine. The only things that we don't talk about are politics, sex, bullshit, religion, and uh, money. Uh, unless it pertains to like personal finance and, and things of those sort. Um, we, we, we usually try to do a recap from the week before. We have videos, survival videos, all kinds of great stuff that goes on here every week. Um, I think we should just go ahead and do our drawing now. I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys that's think? Do you want to hold off? No, that's fine. We can do the drawing. She's yeah. like, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's do this. All right. Yeah, and the people whose names... Yeah, that I've drawn. Again, you got to share to win. Well, yeah, you have to share to win, but also give me your freaking address. Yeah. Like, I can't really We covered that earlier. Shit. For those of you that are tuning, in, uh, tuning back in, because we notice, like, we watch the analytics, and we see people, like, kind of drop off, and they come back and, like, did they do the drawing yet? You cheap bastards. Thank you for coming back. I'll take the views. <laughs> um, you have to give us your address. We can't send this to you yeah. unless you we're, give we're us not... your – send me a message – on uh, the public figure page here or to the life survival page. I don't care where you send it. If you know me, text me, whatever it is. Like, hey, I won. Here's my address. Because otherwise, I don't know. Okay, I know. And I don't have time to follow up with you to find out where your address is. And all. Yeah, I, I got other things to do. And if, if you, you win, want it, claim it. Yeah, claim it. <laughs> claim it. Say, hey, I won. I'm a winner. Everybody else is a loser. There's only one winner each week. That means that every, if you're not Except winning. Except for next week. Except for next week, then everybody's a winner. It's like participation trophy. Christmas, <laughs> snow, snowflake. You know, These everybody wins. You know, it's fantastic. It's fantastic next week. This week, it's not that way. If you didn't win, you're a freaking loser. Okay. If you won, send us the address. I don't know. They are. Yeah. If you're not winning, you're a loser. And if you're not first, you're last. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> but y'all coming too like a spider oh, monkey. My God. <laughs> So, All right. I love that. So movie. I am drawing from <laughs> Sorry. Sunshine State Goods. Sunshine State Goods hat. Yes. It's a Sunshine State Goods drawing. If you're not following on Instagram, you should be. They have really cool swag over there. Dude, you have said cool. suck it all night. You got it. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, following yeah. them at least suck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll plug it. I'll plug it before the end of the show. For real. For real. For real. I'll get it before all the end right, of the show. Right, Somebody's go. going to suck it before the end of the show. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Drum roll. And Sunshine State Goods hat drawing this week is Robin Lindsay. Hmm. Gets the laser oh, pointer. Some what? Some laser. The laser. It's you put it on wife. your shark. Yeah, it's your sister wife. Oh, it is. It. Yep. Nice. yep. 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 Sister no, wife. I actually got to meet her, which yes. she's like yeah. Awesome person. Yeah, oh. yeah, and she was she was one of the the few to like really take to the whole bow drill thing at our last yep. gathering. Yeah, she did awesome. Yeah, yeah. she kicked some ass. She was chucking at ladles, flint napping, like all kinds of crazy. Yeah, shows. it don't she was show us ass. how she did it because the last two times you did, I followed your hand movement. And I'm like, well, like it's crazy. <laughs> like the the women the women in that frog this year like kicked some ass. So yeah. Robin like did everything from fire making to at ladles. Like flint napping, like did it all. And where's, then, where's the fellas at? <laughs> yeah, and then that should happen. Um, during Matt's class, um, teaching different uh, fire techniques, mm -hmm. um, Elizabeth was the only one to make fire that night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, in, uh, in, in a, there's video. there's a new video that mm -hmm. just came out. Um, I haven't shared it yet. I'll grab it. I'll probably run it next week if we can. Um, sure. it's from this past, uh, frog gathering, the Florida river outdoor gathering down on the river. And, um, Elizabeth was the first and I think the only, right? Um, well for bow drill, but they did other different fire well, techniques. I mean like yeah, in yeah. the class, right? She wasn't in the class. She was the only one to make the fire from bow drill. From bow drill. Yeah. There was other people making fires from the, um, 
Flint and, Flint and Striker. The Flint and Striker. Flint and Steel. Yeah. Um, so there's other people making fire that way, but yeah, from the bow drill. And that nice. was the first time she's ever tried it. So. Yeah. Yeah, if you, awesome. if you get the form works. right, you've got a good teacher, you have the right materials. Once you learn it the first time and you actually breathe the fire, breathe breathe life into the fire, um, it's almost like riding a bike. There's like a spark within within you. And you're like, I created fire. And I know it seems like such a, a stupid thing to some people, but when you watch movies like Castaway with Tom Hanks and he finally makes fire and he starts freaking out, he's like, Wilson! He's like, I made fire! Ah, fire! I made fire! You know, like, it's a monumental (laughs) thing. And and to know that you can take two pieces of wood, I mean, you've seen some of these classes, Mm. to know that you can use rudimentary tools or just some basics and create something that that's that's sufficient for you, you know, that that, that provides for you, like uh, Zach earlier with his Duck Hunter 3000. That's genius level shit. But he's creating something from almost nothing and being able to feed himself from it. It's absolutely amazing. And for a person like myself, it's inspiring. To see somebody make fire sets me on fire. And as a business owner, we talk a lot about business here on Life Survival. Um, you've got to be on fire with passion. You really have to oh, be yes. on fire and believe about, believe fully in what it is you do for it to happen and become a real thing. And the, and the more you're on fire with that passion and that drive in life, the more things come to you. And it's an absolute God's honest truth. You start realizing you're living a meaningful and purposeful life. You have goals. Um, you're, you're working towards something. You're actually living, not just consuming and sucking on the tit of society. I won't get into all that, you Facebook losers. Um, but... <laughs> but like, like really, yeah, right. really on the fire, like really doing something that you enjoy doing. Maybe it's sweeping floors. Be a professional sweeper. I don't know if that's a thing, but if it's your thing and you can make money doing it and you love doing it, fuck yeah. Mary, Do that shit. Mary Maids made millions. Mary Maids made Just millions. Mur- <laughs> I thought you were going to say America. And like, America, bitches. Mur- like, do it. That's, that's, that's powerful, you know? Um, and that's a, it's, it's not a life hack. It's things we know. But it's almost like we're convinced that we can't do this. Like we're given all these obstacles and these reasons why we can't accomplish our goals in life. We're fed excuses in our head. It, it does seem it, that it, way. It really in many is. ways, it, it, does, it does seem that way. You know, I, I don't does. have time. Oh, you, you can. I mean, yeah, 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 you know, what else yeah, do you spend time doing? If you want to like, make time. Yeah, look at your phone and look at the amount of time in a day that you spend on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is that you are, gaming. And I'm not trying to preach or anything like that. But if you're running a business and you're like, oh, I don't have time to do that, and you're spending three hours a day on Facebook and it's not making you money, fuck you, dude. You're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. Facebook is a tool. Social media is a tool. You have it, it's a fundamental shift in the way we communicate. And you, it's 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 not that Facebook is evil or Twitter is evil or anything like mm-hmm. that. It's 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 a platform. You use it for what you use it for. Yep. If you spend your time wasting your life. D- d- fucking do that and rock it, but whatever. Make a living doing it. Find a way. Find a way to make a living doing it. It's a, it's a, it's a paradox in a way because our audience is right here online on on, on the Facebook, and I've helped make my living for the past yeah, couple absolutely. years. Absolutely, and and on Facebook and, 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 and like Twitter, it's like how absolutely. do you want to use it? YouTube, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> all of that. And you know, for me, it's like our it's it's like this upper level challenge, almost like this next level ish in a way but like our audience is out there online and we're trying to convince them to turn that off and connect with nature yes and if we can do that through that this show right here we're winning and we're happy absolutely that's that's our goal is to let you know it's not this big intimidating thing out there get outdoors get outdoors share this win gear get the gear put it in your backpack go outdoors have fun. Send, send us that. pictures. Send us, send us pictures videos. And tag it. And send us videos. <laughs> hey, look, we made, you know, whatever, blueberry pie or crumble or something by the fire. I want to see that, dude. Tag Should, me in that. Oh, like, some seriously. hot dogs and with some chili, like the rabbit chili I finally got to try yeah. tonight. I made my rabbit we chili We have talked again. about this, uh, I think, since, like, the second episode. <laughs> yes. So. I, finally, I finally made my rabbit chili. Um, I didn't make it too spicy because I knew Silas was going to eat some as well. But tonight we had some really good hot dogs. We roasted hot dogs by the fire, had them in the bun with cheese, and had the rabbit chili over top. And 
I don't mean to brag, but I'm not hungry right now. Like, I'm, not I'm a little gassy. But uh, <laughs> no, it was. It, it turned out really it's well. The funk. <laughs> that's that funk. No, no, it turned out. It turned out really well. Um, and those are the. That's that's kind of the cool stuff that we do here on the show. Um, I'm a city boy, so like the rabbit, like rabbit chili, like. Yeah. I've never I've never eaten rabbit until tonight. So really, it was the first. Yeah, time. It was, yeah, this is the first time. This is oh, the I first didn't even time. That. First time having rabbit. First time having rabbit chili. Like oh wow. So that's why that's why I've been all excited about this. I'm like oh yeah, dude. This is there's so many things out from there. Chicago, like the you don't put ketchup on hot dogs, bro. Like <laughs> rabbit chili. What that's are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't and put if you're, ketchup on my hot right, dogs. And if you're in I... Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, and, 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 and that's the thing, you know, with, with outdoors and nature is you learn that these things that you thought were so bizarre or so foreign or so weird or so backcountry or outdoors or whatever it is, things like rabbit. A lot of people don't eat rabbit, and that's okay. I get that. But a lot of people are like, I don't eat rabbit. Oops, sorry, sweet. I don't eat rabbit because they're so cute and fuzzy. And it's like, okay, well, a cow's kind of cute too on Tuesdays. I don't know. I'm just saying. And uh, no, I'm just totally kidding. Flaming on tastes you know, great. Yeah, they're, 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 they're awesome too. You know? Cows are cute, but I will eat them. Yeah, you know, veal's nice. It's like really nice, but calves are cute. You know, there's I'll eat those thing. too. Yeah, I'll eat that too. If it moves for the most part, we eat it. Um, but no, engaging people with the outdoors. And it, the same with, like, uh, with medicines. For instance, mm-hmm. we don't take a lot of medicines in our family. Um, there's some shots that we've turned down for our son. Uh, over the years, there's um, we eat a a balanced diet. Um, it's it's not too heavy on the protein. It's not too heavy on the carbs. We try to keep it fairly well balanced. It's not right. vegan, you know. It's not paleo. It's not one end of the spectrum or the other. It's not extreme. We try to keep it balanced. You know, even keel. You know, no too much of any one thing is a bad thing. So a little bit of everything ain't so bad. <laughs> gotta be okay with the shots i mean like tequila and crown and I mean... no <laughs> tequila yes crown no oh. um but i do like that crown apple that is... that's the kind of sponsors we need for our show <laughs> crown <laughs> apple we need you no no we, we need don't so she, no. she needs you. She need she's not saying that no i'm not <laughs> But no, that like, gets me in trouble. Well, see, <laughs> <laughs> but with the survival thing, like you mentioned, you know, like trying the rabbit is it's not, it's not horrible. It's actually delicious, no. you know, it's and it's great. A lot of it's how it's prepared and the same way works with like, um, you know, we don't take a lot of medicines. So the medicines that we do take come from my, my good friend, Matt, who you've met. He's an mm-hmm. instructor at our, uh, our gatherings each year, uh, each but spring and fall. Um, and he prescribes herbal medicines. Right. He's an acupuncturist. He practices Eastern medicine. Uh, most medicines today were actually derived from natural solutions. You know, like sure. a, what is it? Valium is a derivative of or an extension of concentration of valerian root. So really? there's, a, yeah, a plant valerian. They take the root, process it, and they make a sedative from it. And the more you concentrate it, the more it becomes, I'm assuming, like Valium. You know, so that's one of the willow you, bark. I mentioned. I was going to say you've talked to me yeah. multiple times about like the, the aspirin willow. or something. Yeah, or... willow aspirin. Aspirin is um, real aspirin was made from willow bark. Okay. From the willow tree, uh, and the willow tree is in the Salix family. So in the Salix family, you see a lot of similar properties. And here locally, uh, we have the Carolina willow, uh, and it's not like a weeping willow. It's got these long green leaves. Um, beautiful actual shrub and it usually grows right along the water's edge okay uh, usually moving water too uh, like little streams and creeks and stuff like that gotcha. um, so you take the bark you excuse me dry it out pulverize it into a powder and for the most part you have the equivalent of aspirin it's a painkiller um, so it's important too you know and we talk about life and we all know, like you watch all those commercials and you, you hear like there's more side effects than good things that some of these drugs do. A lot of the natural versions of that, they may not as be as uh, as potent. But they um, don't cause anal but they leakage. But they, but, they, <laughs> but they don't cause anal leakage. You will live and you don't have to wear a diaper. It's okay. <laughs> there you go. It's okay. Um, but no, um, my, my, my buddy Luke, who we've showed his videos a couple times before. Yes. 
Uh, Melissa Miller, also from Discovery Channel's Naked and Afraid. If you if you didn't know, my episode was on earlier on Discovery Channel. Um, she was on Naked and Afraid also. Um, and Naked and Afraid XL. And and oh. XL, but that hasn't been released yet. Oh, she um, was. Or, no, I was, thinking, <laughs> I was thinking of um, who they did a calendar together. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Some of the girls from Naked and yeah, Afraid did a, a, a calendar together. That's right. Um, okay. Where they're all they're all posing with their knives. Nice. Uh, different different knife brands. Great yes. great marketing scheme there. Yeah, absolutely. That was um, um, Amber. Amber. Amber and, Hargo. And Geo and, and G- Geo. Yeah, they were yep. on XL. Yep, those those are the ones that were on XL. Absolutely. Um, but Luke and, and Melissa came together, and she covers like four or five different um, different medicinal plants that grow in their area. They're a northern. <laughs> Medicinal plants. He always laughs when I say medicinal plants. He's like, sorry. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Seriously though, they 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 have a video together. Um, it, it's pretty good stuff. Covers a lot of the basics of the uh, medicinal wild forged plants that grow in their area. And uh, my buddy Luke Soldering, who also won History Channels alone. Um, He's in this video as well. They collaborated, and and this is really cool stuff. You guys got to take a look at this. Absolutely. Hey guys, I'm Luke. I'm here with Melissa Miller from Naked and Afraid, and we're going out here and doing uh, this trip to learn a few survival tips. See, I survived in the wilderness for 60 days, but I didn't really know what I was doing that well. Uh, Now I'm meeting with other survivalists, and on this quest for survival knowledge, I get to learn some of the little tips and tricks that would have made this much easier for me while I'm out there. Um. I got poison ivy in places you never want to get poison ivy. It was rough. It was really rough. So this stuff, it helps though, right? Yeah, so this is called um, jewel weed, and I'm just going to pick up a little piece of it right here. Um, You probably see this stuff all the time. It's really common. If you go walking in the woods, um, you're bound to stumble across this stuff, especially in uh, mid to late summer. Um, Yeah, this is jewel weed. You can actually use the juices directly from the stems or leaves by crushing it up and it's it prevents poison ivy and it's an anti-itch so it actually um, prevent it and treat it prevent it and treat it um nice. not just with poison ivy but like poison oak uh poison um sumac, su- sumac yep. yep it helps fight the the oil and the, those plants which it's like you're not you're not actually allergic to the the plants you're allergic to it's called a ruchal and that's okay. the oil in the plant sure okay yep. but um it also is good for bug bites and stuff and people like native americans made balms and lotions out of this for centuries and they would use it to treat all sorts of it's an anti-itch cream a cool. natural anti-itch cream awesome. so it's awesome and it's uh, preventative too so luke we have a lot of goldenrod here hey luke 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 where are you oh <laughs> <laughs> this is goldenrod and it's awesome. You can make a tea out of this. It's actually like a anti-inflammatory, oh. um, a diuretic, you know, if you're really just wanting to go to the bathroom really? a lot. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't go for 39 days, so could have. Well, I think it just makes you pee. It's not a laxative. Oh. Yes. So you make a tea out of this. Yeah, so you make a tea out of this. It's goldenrod, um, like I said. And it's just one of our awesome wildflowers that appears in mid to late August. And it's got some antiseptic um, properties to it. It's also got uh, anti-inflammation properties. Oh, okay. um, and it's pretty much been used as an herbal remedy for years. People will steep the, they'll steep the petals and leaves and make a nice tea out of it. Luke, I picked you a bouquet. Oh. <laughs> so Luke is just trying to eat some. So this is, okay, get, get back here. We have to teach people about this bouquet. Yeah. This is a chicory right here. So chicory is awesome. This has a lot of antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant properties, anti-everything, anti-bad properties. Anti-taste. Yeah. But don't eat too much of it. Uh, you can eat the leaves, petals, and roots. Um, mainly the chicory roots is used. You can make a tea from it, and okay. it actually can be like a laxative. So um, we were talking Watch early. out for that one. Yeah. And chicory. This, it's like this periwinkle flower. You see it everywhere. It grows in really harsh environments. This can be made into an awesome uh, tea for a uh, for laxative. And, and you can just eat there. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, oxeye daisies, those are edible too. 
they don't provide that much nutritional value. It's just a flower, but you can yeah. just eat the petals if you want. You know, if you want to go through the effort. Yeah, you can eat the whole thing, really. Yeah. Um, be careful because bugs like to hang out on them. Yeah. That is so cool. It would be kind of a it's lot of accident. calorie exertion, though, to go pick a bunch of those. Some stuff's a Not bad. I know, they're pretty good. Oh, and this The flower one's... part was actually the best inside, though. The oh, yeah, wood sorrel, this is everywhere. It's yeah. uh, kind yeah. of like pretty much like a clover. We used to pick the... Yeah, yeah, and that's sweet. Mm -hmm. So there's mm -hmm. there's sugar in these. Mm -hmm. um, sugar, not, which is going to provide that like carbohydrate like, energy kind of for you when you're trying to, you know, when you're lacking that energy. This is an older bud, so it's definitely not as sweeter. But yeah. when you get the younger shoots and the younger petals, yep. you know, you're going to have a lot more of that sugary substance. So you can eat the whole thing or just the petals? You can eat the whole thing. The whole yep. thing yeah. You can eat like this whole thing. Cheese. Or at least I do. Yeah, it's like easy <laughs> well, Luke, it's been real. Thank <laughs> you for coming out. To well, the thanks for doing this. This has been great. Yeah. Really a lot of fun. But there were berries we got to eat. We uh, foraged, found a lot of fun things. <laughs> and uh, Melissa's going to be doing more adventures in the future, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Probably some things but they gotta be up. on secret. Okay. All right. On secret. Yeah. 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 On secrets, yeah. Yeah, they gotta be on secret. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you can follow yeah. Melissa of oh, bugs. You can follow <laughs> Melissa on Instagram and Facebook at Melissa Backwoods. I'll put a uh, link here in the description and uh, follow her on there and check out some of the things she's got going on in the future. We'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs>
and uh, throwing <laughs> mad good vibes at you uh, that you can make it down here in the spring. Um, we're going to have an epic gathering down on the river. Yeah. Crystal clear waters. It's my dreamy spot. I love being there. I'll be there in two days <laughs> again. Bobby Lynn said fire, which stay tuned for the Christmas giveaway because Bobby Lynn has something to do with that as well. Oh. Yep. I'll yep. give that away. Yeah, there you go. We're giving away a pure fire tactical fire striker. Yeah. Highest grade magnesium on the market right now. Has been on TV at least like six or seven sh times from uh, National Geographic's migration, History Channels alone, uh, Naked and Afraid. afraid yeah. uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it pops up here and there all over the place. Um, absolutely yes. the best. It's the one I use. It's the one I teach with. That fire striker I use. Okay. I, I love up. those yeah. things. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Gotcha. And uh, Christina says, hey guys, love the setting. Uh, Kim Barker wow. waves. She says hi. Uh, Deneen says wow. hi. Life survival is awesome. Thanks for awesome. tuning in, Denise. Denise has got such a big heart. She's uh, such oh, a really? nice lady. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Let's Absolutely. Let's see here. What else do we got? Um, people did give me a lot of congratulations for graduating. I really appreciate it. Of course. What you need. Of course. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. Um, Christine says that Nelson is a super nice dude. Your man crush. He, oh. He's got to be. He's got to be. I'm telling you, his, his focus is connecting people with nature. That's my focus. That's what life survival is all about. Connecting people with nature. And here's another guy that does the same thing that we do, but he does it through tree houses. And I would totally live in a tree house. Yes. Like if I had the land and it was all this, yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You talk about an epic episode. Blow your freaking minds. Can you make me like a spot for my turntables? I mean, because that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's, how, that's, how that's, that's how that's how he rolls yeah. that's how he rolls dude it's it's um, amazing absolutely so nice. nina says that she's been busy running the company um that she's missed a few of our live feeds well thank <gasps> goodness nina that you can just listen to our show too you don't have to watch it that's true um, that's true so we're streaming on four different platforms instagram youtube facebook live and twitch Yep. Um, you can just turn them on and let it run. Put the headphones in and listen to us. Yeah, you don't have to watch. I know, mm -hmm. I know it's tough not to watch. I know, Nina. I know. <laughs> but you can so, just listen and and just appreciate that, you know. And we thank you so much for tuning in. Um, <laughs> Michael says, good to see you guys again. Michael Court, he's good to see you Michael. too. Very nice to see you, man. Uh, Thanks for tuning in. And let's see. Mike says he's watching on a 37-inch big screen. He uses for a monitor. Stud. And see that picture. Take a picture. Let's take a picture that. of your phone. Well, yeah, I want, I want to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the comments. So Anderson says goodnight, Aaron. I he is not. He's not on this side of the U.S. He's not in the U.S. Period. Oh, so, oh, so he's on the other he's side he's of the yeah. planet. Seven, eight hours ahead of us, probably, yeah. or behind us, or, or, or behind or, us. Or. Uh, Rachel Goodwin says, "Hey there," and let's see here. Thanks uh, for tuning in, Kevin Rachel. Kevin Pierce says, "Hi, guys." What's up, man? <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to get together with that guy. He goes on some epic hikes. Dude, nice. Yeah, some of his stuff is just... I'm like, man, where's that and guy at at Thursday afternoons? Ed Brophy came in, too. Actually, Ed's in the house. Yeah. Yeah, we are yeah. definitely still yeah. live. We're live every week yes. from 9 until 10 something, 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 something. Uh, on four different platforms, Ed. Where are you, brother? Where are you? That's the question so, of the hour. Um, most important question of the night: What kind of beer are you drinking? We oh. are actually drinking Funky, Funky Buddha. Buddha, Pineapple Beach. Pineapple Beach, Funky Buddha, Pineapple Beach. We normally talk about our beer. We do. We do. We do. That's know. something we haven't even. I'm glad somebody brought that up. I feel like I've I've shamed our audience. Everybody's drinking. I should do. Mm hmm. I feel like I'm wow. slacking. You're absolutely right. Something coming up soon. There's this rumor that we may be broadcasting from a local brewery or a place that serves craft beers and things like that somewhere here local. We're going to announce it. We haven't announced it yet. Pay attention, though. Um, and we'll do like a ramp soon. up. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be coming up real soon. Um, and Ed, when you're talking about the uh, Silas getting the candy without asking, he said he would have taken it and eaten in front of him. Just crunch See? Right. <laughs> See? I'm not the only one. Uh, That's totally <laughs> I, know, man. I can totally picture him doing that. Like, yeah. Here's the lesson and watch this. 
<laughs> like I can see like pieces of candy just like flying out of his mouth, and there's nothing but a stick left in his hand. He's like, "What now?" Like I, yeah, that's, that's great. When, uh, when we had uh, God, I miss that when guy. we had Dave McIntyre's video on about the cordage, Mike Parker yes. says that he likes to make cordage a lot, um, and he said something about the type of cordage or the type of fiber he had, which was dog vein, dog vein in her bass basswood bark. Yes, basswood Sorry. bark. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't Absolutely. Talk tonight. There's quite a few different barks of different mm -hmm. trees that work really well. Some of them, too, work perfect for making baskets. And basketry is something that we're looking for an instructor to teach at our next gathering, mm -hmm. uh, the one that comes in the spring on Memorial Day weekend down on the river. Um, basketry is huge. No matter what culture you find, anywhere in the world, Making a basket or a container to keep things in, mm. almost like a backpack, is essential to life. You know, I mean, yeah. you, you put yourself in a perspective where you don't have pockets. You know, and I wear hiking pants a lot, so we have like, I have like multiple pockets all over the place. Cargo pants, like that kind of stuff. These people don't have that. And when you think about that when it comes to survival, if you have the basic skills to make a backpack, that's, that's badass. And some of these woods... You know, you get into like learning about, it's kind of like one thing leads to another. You know, like you get into learning about cordage and you're processing this certain type of wood and you're like, oh, this wood sucks. But this bark is incredible in little bitty strips. It's perfect for a basket or a fish trap nice. or a fish basket or a, um, like crawdads or crabs or lobster or anything like that, you know. Um, that's I like how you lobster. I, <laughs> shit, bro, I like lobster. <laughs> I, got some, I got some more answers on the pie or the cake for cheesecake. Yes, cake. yes. Tom Walker Pink. says pie. It's not freaking pie. Thank you, bro. Unbutton the button. That's what's up. Be Nina, a man. Nina says uh, dessert. <laughs> dessert. Well um, played. I like Nina. Nina's thinking. And then Mike, Michael Pollock says, "Is there a cheese pie? I don't know. I don't know if there's a cheese pie." I don't know. I think that would be cheesecake. I think that would be cheesecake. Yeah. Which, which is, is actually a, a pie because it's made in a pie crust. Michael Cohort says, But wait a second. Cream what if you take. She said cohort. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that cohort? I, I don't know. Michael right. Cohort? Oh. Cowart? Cowart. Cowart. Sorry. I'm horrible cohort. at pronouncing names. But you're talking about like the cheesecake and the, and the crust, right? What about mac and cheese? Because it has that crust on top of it. It's a pie. That's a, that's that a pie. is not. Oh no, mac and cheese has a crust on top. Yeah, crust on top is like a whole other thing, oh, bro. Yeah. I'm just you don't. Man, you uh, squirrel. <laughs> you squirrel on me, bro. You squirrel on me. <laughs> just wondering. Michael says Boston cream pie. That's good. Um, and yeah, then, especially in donuts. <laughs> Um, oh God, dude! One of my favorites. Aunt, uh, yeah, those are good yes. donuts. Aunt Garcia says that he is watching us while at a Star Wars movie. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I don't, yeah, no, I, mean, I don't know if I want to go see one Star Wars thing. movie. Like, is, it, is, is the Last Jedi that bad? Or I think waiting to see it because it, it, oh, it's okay. probably like premiering tonight, which means it's coming on around midnight, gotcha, probably gotcha, or gotcha, eleven. Gotcha. So gotcha. got to get there early. Got to. Well, get in that seats. case, you are dedicated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mickey Figgy, I'm telling you, we you are dedicated, and I would totally be there with you in line if I could. Yes. But yeah. unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm producing or helping to produce. Actually, I guess I'm directing. He's producing. She's co-hosting the Life Survival Show. Thanks okay, for Bob. tuning in. And then Tom says that your sleeves are down, buttoned up. What's wrong? Is the cold getting to you? I unbuttoned one for you. Oh, that's Hope right. Hope you were paying did. attention, buddy. There's a lot of hair going on in this hey, tee right here. I'm wearing buttons next week. Uh, I like that. Right. <laughs> I've never seen this guy wear buttons in my life. <laughs> He's never wore buttons. I, 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 did, I don't like, even think he owns a shirt that has buttons no, on it. I, I actually, I, I had to, I had to rewash it because it was, it was covered in dust. It's the for, one. It's the yeah, one it's shirt the one. he has. It's the one. Buttons. But my daughter had the, her orchestra stuff. Dude, you totally so got to wear it and unbutton it all the way. <sighs> Like um, is it a button all the way down, or it's like it's not through. It's forward? like a long sleeve black, which I normally roll up because, well, I like my tattoos and I want oh, everybody else to. I guess it. my sleeve. <laughs> I'm super conservative tonight. Yes, he is. Sorry, folks. Um, Elizabeth said that we look and sound great. She loves the backdrop. <laughs> and um, we love you, Elizabeth. And then David uh, says the next broadcast should be from a tent. That'd be very constricting, I think. Oh, we're pretty tight. We'd be sweating. Well, this we is Florida. In the winter, it got down to like a whopping 80 degrees today. Yeah, actually, it I think actually it was, got colder. It got like 40-something. It did not get 40-something today. It might have gotten 40-something last night, 
during the day today, it was more like during in, the day. In the I've had my heat on all day. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this guy's running. <laughs> Dude, I had like doors open, windows <laughs> open, like breeze but, coming through. Seventy two. But I don't get dressed degrees. until I have to come here. I mean, so that's true too. It's it's the uh, life of a DJ. We don't have uh, that life. Emilio says that he's fucker, working yeah. towards drunk. What's Emilio, up? we love yes. you, and we're working towards that. Yes, that same goal. We have another six uh, pack left. We do. This is only Mike, the beginning. Mike <laughs> says that he does survival as primitive as possible with a few modern doohickeys. Yep. Yep. That's um, and then, technical terms. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we're, all, we're all about things and stuff. Absolutely, Mike. <laughs> Tom. Uh, Tom Walter says I'm that insane, he actually. needs. Uh, <laughs> you guys need to get the kids together. Kyle is jealous that Silas turned four without him. Oh, bird. Um, and we do. We need to do a forest play date soon, and we need to like get other dads and moms and little ones and everything out there to do it as well. I'm working on something that I can't talk about right now, uh, but it's right up your alley, definitely. And we'll we'll be talking soon about that that exact thing right there. Uh, Mike Parker says, "Come over to the dark side." <laughs> and I'm going to finish it up with Luke Solderling says that he turns the volume down just to look at Aaron. Oh. You sick, sick <laughs> stud of a bastard, you. You, oh. you, you. I don't know what to so say. So that wraps up my I do have to say that somewhere in 2018, time. it looks like we'll be going to Michigan, from what I was told. Is he in Michigan? We're going to be that way. I I think he's in Minnesota, actually. But Minnesota and Michigan are like on um, like the same. They're all north. The same level. They're yeah. north of us. And according <laughs> according to two of them earlier, it's it's if you go back and you watch Luke's video, it's pretty much the same thing. There's a few things that suck about Michigan, and that's okay because he doesn't live there. I think that's it's called how Detroit. He, <laughs> that would be Detroit, folks. That's the part of Michigan that sucks. Aside from that, it's fantastic. No, we're looking at making a trip up that way, and I'm hoping, 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 and praying that that happens. Luke's got some big things on his agenda for 2018. Epic, epic level stuff. And um, I'm hoping that at some point our paths cross again. We did get to see him. He said in... Minnesota. 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 Watch your mouth. Minnesota. Watch your mouth. Wait a second. Minnesota is actually the capital, I think, for Polaris. That ATV the ATVs and the snowmobiles and, the UTVs, and stuff? Yeah. I've been up there and, and taught a been... uh, taught a seminar for those oh, guys. Oh, so. okay, okay. Yep. That's right. You do like motorcycle classes mm, and all yep. that. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So, absolutely. I would I... love I would love to get up there. I've never been up in that area before. And if you guys know me and you do, I love going to places I've never been before. I love to to just immerse myself in that culture. The food, the music, that you know this, but the food, the music, the culture, the way people live, the things they eat, the places they go, the songs they sing. Like to me, that's living. And to be able to experience that with other people, that's epic. And when they come down here, you ask Justin Bullard, ask uh, uh, Darren, Darren Ray, ask uh, a handful of people that have been down here in Florida with me. Um, and I've taken them out on the river and I'm like, this is my life. This is my heaven. Mm -hmm. I want to show you real Florida. And they see... Dude, I'm not kidding. There's monkeys through the trees, moccasins and gators in the water. We're snagging uh, uh, bass and, and, and bluegill and bremen and stuff and like 12 feet of crystal clear water with sand on the bottom. There's like 14, 15 foot gator down there. Like that's living to me. This is my Florida. And I love to go somewhere else and experience their world and, and the things that they're passionate about. You know, to me, that's yep. that's freaking epic. I would totally go to Minnesota. I would that's go to Minnesota fun. tomorrow if I could if I could make that happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. And that's why I need bigger if, sponsors. I hope you guys are watching. They have like a whole lot of money, and they're like, "Yay, Aaron should just like travel all over the place and immerse himself in all this kind of nature <laughs> shit, and we'll freaking love him for it." <laughs> Yay! Might even pay him. Not just pay his way, but pay him. Sponsors, pay attention because that's what I'm angling at. I want to go and Hello. see what other people are doing <laughs> in other places. And I want to do the life survival show from somebody's like ice fishing shanty. Or yeah, whatever you call that thing. ice fishing for like a week and a half. Dude, really I'm hooked like... on this thing. It's my buddy uh, from Bone and Fish. Yeah. If you're not following um, uh, um follow him on Instagram. Uh, Finn, and, Finn and Bone. Finn and Bone on Instagram. Um, these guys are out there in Canada and they're like ice fishing. Like they drill these holes. They set up this whole thing and they like straight up live out there. A. And they, A. Sorry. <laughs> I know, friend. <laughs> um, 
and, and they, they, they live out there on the ice. They live off that life. You know, they catch all these fish and they're like fishing at like 35, 40, 50 feet down sometimes. And they're catching like all these little smelt and they catch them all. And they, oh, dude, they smoke them. And dude, it's a really incredible. Nice. It's something that we don't get to do down here, but I can appreciate that kind of lifestyle. Excuse That's me, especially I down here. So I don't. <laughs> He's like, see, we're Once back. Again, back to the transplant thing. <laughs> That's the thing. My entire life, though, people are moving to Florida. Ten, what is it? Ten thousand people a day visit something Florida, like that, or something yeah. insane like that. We get eighty-seven million people a year that visit Florida. Eighty-seven million people a year people visit here. Florida. There's like twenty-one million people that actually live here. That's a whole lot of people on one peninsula. And I, this is I, also I, why I love Uber to drive me where I go. <laughs> <laughs> this is why, like everybody's moving to Florida. I'm, and I'm not looking to get out. I love my state. I'm super passionate about the Sunshine State Flip Flop Nation. Super proud. But I love, I love to help people experience that, and then go somewhere else and experience their Florida, their Sunshine State, whatever you mm -hmm. call it. In their world, like I want to see that. To me, that's absolutely amazing. I didn't mean to get on a rant there. No, no, I just, I, you guys, I know, agree man, with you. With I'm super on this. passionate about that, dude. I love that. Absolutely, yeah. Love I, that. I I agree with you so much because of the fact that I've I've been lucky enough to where I've traveled around to most of the states. But my problem is, like, even going, to, you know, Vegas is a big thing to me. I've been to Vegas three times, but I jump off an airplane and I go to a. A, a radio station and then i yeah. go to the club and then i go to my hotel for two to, hours like, and, like, and then really, i get like, then my driver is sitting there yes. going you got to get to the airport yeah i've never got to experience yes. the actual life that they live and i, right. I would love to <laughs> and that's 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 where you don't you, you you miss the opportunity to embrace the culture yep embracing the culture like expands your mind so much and anybody that's traveled abroad travel to other states outside of their county Wherever it is, like you get a different perspective, and that's what almost like enlightens you. Mm -hmm. That's what living is all about: is experiencing life through other people. That's yep. in many ways that's what life survival is about: is is getting to share other people's knowledge and other people's skills. Um, the same with our show we do every week. We're always looking to improve it. We're always looking for your comments and your feedback. We want to know what you think. And, and what you feel, what you want to see on our show. If you're just tuning in, I'm sorry, but we're about to wrap up for this week. We're broadcasting live on four different channels, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Uh, we're breaking records this week. We've broke records every week before in the audiences that we reach. It's because of you. It's because of your sharing. Every time you share, you potentially win. We have epic giveaways every week. This week, we give away this like incredible green laser i mean this thing's like rechargeable mind-blowing next week we have an incredible incredible holiday giveaway coming up over a thousand dollars worth of gear i mean some of this stuff is really cool there's a there's a north face backpack oh. sitting over here on well, yeah, she's getting ready to Stop. smack you she like, already went over it i know we did i know we did i'm just trying to emphasize for those of you that are just tuning in here at the very end we got some really cool we'll stuff coming up. We'll give sneak peeks throughout the week coming up. We'll give Promise. sneak peeks. How about that? That's so follow fair. the page. Follow the pictures. <laughs> share. 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 Sharing is caring. Share. Make sure you share Life give Survival like. Show. Give us some Put it yeah, out there. And that's the thing. You have to share the Life Survival Show, not our post throughout the week, the actual yes. show. Yes. Yes. The Live post throughout the week. I'll take all the shares we can get on the rest of the stuff, but you have to share the show. Yeah. That's the key. This week, Life Survival, we've covered all kinds of crazy stuff. Dumb criminals, survival, medicine in the wild, uh, raising kids, watching them climb the walls with crayons in their mouth, like bizarre stuff that's gone down. We drank some beer. We drank a lot of beer. And whiskey. A couple. She drank whiskey. Yeah. She has recently graduated college. We yeah, celebrated my beautiful wife, Audrey, here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again next week on the Life Survival Show. From 9 p.m. until whenever here on my Facebook public figure page. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Mm.